Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology. So today I'd like to share with you why is it the book Restricting Wing Chun is an essential book for those of us who like to really know what is Wing Chun. And of course, this applies to Wing Chuners who like to know, who want to know the art of Wing Chun, the traditional Chinese martial art practitioner, the uh, other martial art friends who really like to know well, what is Wing Chun. Now, this book is not for uh, the Wing Chun group who is uh, like to learn ritual, their lineage, uh, uh, movies, and those kind of stuff. And also not for those who want to go fighting, fighting, fighting with the Wing Chun names and uh, just do whatever they want. And also, this is not for uh, those <coughs> Wing Chuners who want to go into the directions of uh, internal. Uh, how you have Tai Chi and how you have uh, this Zhan uh, Zhuang in your uh, Wing Chun and those kind of stuff. <clears throat> so this is very specific, okay? For only those who really want to know what is going on with this Wing Chun. Now, in the past three years, since Xi Xiaodong challenged the traditional Chinese martial art, call out that uh, many traditional Chinese martial art is fake. Yesterday, I just uh, got another video from many friends on Xi Xiaodong defeat another Tai Chi guys. And as we know that, Xi Xiaodong defeat the Ting Hao from Wing Chun and so forth years ago and so forth. Well, the issue is, if one do not change, one will keep in getting the same result. It applies to Tai Chi, it applies to Wing Chun, it applies to anything in the world when you want to get a result. You keep in doing the same thing, you keep in getting the same result. And in order to change, we need to understand what is going on. See, I live in Silicon Valley. Product changes every six months or so. Because you want to keep up with the competition. <clears throat> Newer thing come every six months. So one need to have a solid understanding on what is going on on the technology or else one simply cannot solve a problem, today's problem with uh, yesterday's solutions. You cannot do that. So we need to know this is the, the, the situation right now where traditional Chinese martial art is actually fading away because when one face the against and against get get uh, get a uh, uh, defeat by Xi Xiaodong and he's just a single man and then defeat all these people and uh, you see it's hopeless so we need to know what what is the the, the art of Wing Chun what, what is it Okay, does it par with the Xi Xiaodong type of training? Here, I don't mean to provoke violence or provoke go challenge Xi Xiaodong. Here, I am presenting that we need to know what we have. And if we have something which is not as good, we can improve. If we have something par, there's no reason and it doesn't need us to challenge anybody because we know our technology. 
challenging is actually not necessary when one know where one stands. It's like uh, in, in today's world. When somebody have this uh, advanced uh, uh, laser or the ions, nuclear weapons, there's no reason to challenge those who, who, who don't even know what is the nuclear weapon is. That's a part of us, you know, as human beings that we don't really go destroy people or just uh, pick, uh, how to say that, make, make uh, us happy by bullying people. Okay, bullying people is, is not a proper thing to do. Now, so this is the situations of traditional Chinese martial arts. And there's a reason why this book is written too. We need to know what it is. And if you look at Wing Chun in past 130 years, where we can found the records. What we can see is Wing Chun is not presented in a comprehensive way, but a bit of piece here. And then it is up for everybody to uh, to, to uh, to connect the, uh, the, 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 the points between informations. And uh, in the past 60 years, we see that many things has been imported into Wing Chun. As soon as one uh, can label it as Wing Chun, then one can do anything with it. So, that again point out for us who really want to know what is Wing Chun, we want to develop the skill, we want to be proficient, we want to modernize it, we need to know what it is because those uh, connecting uh, two points uh, up for everybody's interpretation doesn't really tell us what it is. In fact, it distorts things. Okay? So there's a reality. Now, I have a, a photo there on the contents of the Restricting Wing Chun in the link under this, uh, this, this, this video. You know, there's, there's a link there, my blog link. Please uh, go uh, uh, check it out so that when I go through the video, you can see what I'm talking about if you like. And so let's get into the, the contents of the books, okay? So the contents of the book is here, if you want to take a snapshot, or again, you can go down to the link and uh, get it there. So the first chapter is the multi-dimensional fighting arts, okay? The first chapter is multi-dimensional fighting arts. This is about the General Chi Ji Guang classics 1560s because at General Chi Ji Guang time 1560, traditional Chinese martial arts have already evolved into a multi-dimensional fighting arts. So in this chapter, it presents to you by the classic of the General Chi Chi Guang, okay, by evidence. And within this classic of General Chi Chi Guang, we can, using today's language, to, to categorize it or to, uh, to, to organize it, that at the General Chi Chi Guang time, 1560, Traditional Chinese martial art from General Chi Chi Guang or after the evolutions of General Chi Chi Guang. First, it is a combat within the four momentum zone. 
and within that four momentum zone which is the long range short range the takedown range the ground range four fighting zone there there are three strategy okay three strategy how to play in this four momentum zone now in order to play in this four momentum zone with the three strategy one need to have five range of movement body movement that you need to be able to stand going to the ground all those kind of stuff okay so there's the first chapter the classic of general chi chi kuang the four momentum zone or four fighting zone the three strategy and the five range of movement this is the stuff it exists up to 1900s in traditional chinese martial in the proper traditional chinese martial arts until all those uh, magic uh, fa jing magic qi stuff coming in so wing chun 1850 is a to this this what uh, set up by general chi chi kuang same with other martial art in Fujian, such as the dog feast of Fujian, you can see all of this in writing from the uh, from the uh, grandmaster of the past generations. Okay, so this is what traditional Chinese martial art is about. Now the second chapter is on Shaolin sword strike. Well, how many of us today know Shaolin Sword Strike? So, this chapter is to share with you the big picture and the details of Shaolin Sword Strike. And actually, it is actually the essence of the Shaolin Sword Strike classic is placed on this chapter so that you'll be able to have the full picture. If you don't have the full picture and the basic detail, there's no way you know what it is. Okay, so it's technical stuff. So, the first part of the second chapter is the connection with General Chi Chi Guang. Okay, in Shaolin Soft Strike book, in this classic, you can find the connection of General Chi Chi Guang's. 1560s classic and by only by this type of evidence we know this thing's legit we know what it is right now in the second chapter based on this book the classic it share the Sticking body shot strike. Why is it is named sticking body shot strike later? Well, why is it named uh, using the term sticking body shot strike? Why is Wing Chun later on is called sticking body shot strike? Tip San Tuin Da in Cantonese, in Mandarin Tie San Tuan Da. That term is a unique term, unique term from the Shaolin Sword Strike Classic. We know why it is technically first it was named as Sticking Body Sword Strike. How the it's like today's uh, Apple uh, computer is using iOS. You know why is this iOS? Okay, so it is uh, the second chapter it presents you that Sticking Body Sword Strike. And then the second chapter it presents the Sword Strike martial arts breathing okay breathing is very important low abs breathing body and footwork pairing because short strike art you need to pair your body your torso and your 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 footwork those are the first priority hand techniques is the second priority that's why in past 60 or 80 years when people said wing chun is about tan pong folk no, that's not the case. 
as soon as it is a short strike art, Tip San to Inta, as soon as it's from Shaolin, not from somewhere else, you know that the body and leg has to be paired. Otherwise, you don't have that short strike art. Okay? Even in traditional Chinese martial art, after General Chi Chi Guang, if you have a, if it is named as a short strike art or categorized as a short strike art, always is the body and the leg or the footwork. It needs to pair. Okay? So this is very significant. And there's details there based on this book. And of course, the, you know, always what I do is the Chinese character and explain to you what it is. Not translate words by words because words mean nothing. You need to know what it is, okay, in today's language. And then in the second chapter, it present the fighting stance of Shaolin Sword Strike. From the drawing classic, from this, this, uh, this uh, Shaolin classic, and the detailed descriptions, technical descriptions, okay? And then the shoot in and fill in. You want to fight this close, sticking at your opponent's body, you need to know how to get in. You need to shoot in. And then you need to fill in, okay? So that is the characteristic of uh, Shaolin Sword Strike, which is uh, present here. And also, if you want to shoot in and fill in shoulder, play a big role there. Okay? So, it was presented there. And then, the footwork. Now, the Shaolin Sword Strike footwork, it actually incorporates with the knee and the leg attack. And footwork actually it means the entire momentum go with it. It's not just walking, different patterns of walking. Like today's, when people talk about footwork, it's like different way of walking. No, the Shaolin Sword Strike art footwork is the entire momentum go in. You need to be able to do that move to shoot in, or when you fill in, you're changing the, the, the way of how to fill in that is presented in this chapter. And then, there's a uniqueness called opponent's legs management. Because you want to shoot in, you want to fill in, you want to manage his lower part of the body, which is the legs management. Again, it is in this book. Then, now we open it up. There are four types of leg management in details and all this footwork so that we know exactly what it is so we we can uh we can study we can learn about it we can study about it we can know what it is we can experience it okay and then is the footwork illustration like for example the plum flower footwork the z footwork well, this footwork illustration putting here at this time is because we need to know what is going on uh, 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 with the basic prior to this. That's why you need all this uh, 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 foundation be present before we can talk about this, this, uh, this uh, plum flower footwork or Z footwork. Otherwise, we have no idea what it is. Okay? Now, no. Plum flower footwork is not what we can we see in Wing Chun for past 80 to 100 years per record in details or in writing. It's a different style, but it is here. Okay? And then you have the sticking body short strike uh, illustrations. This is an illustration. So with all the foundations, we now know what is this, this guy is doing. How is this guy is doing? Okay? And then it share the Shaolin Sword Strike 
uniqueness. Is Shaolin Sword Strike uh, uh, going a uh, straight line or it go angle or so forth? It have a uniqueness, how it get in, okay? So we need to know this. And then there are three proficiency, three level of proficiency if one develop this. So in chapter two, we give a full package of what is going on, the basic, the essential. While well, many of us were always thinking advanced. Well, you know, advanced come only when we get the basic proficiency. If we don't even get this basic, what are we going to talk about? We don't even know what it is. Now, the third chapter is the 1850 Wing Chun. So we have the first chapter, the General Qi Ji Guang. The second chapter is Southern Sword Strike. We know the connection, we know the detail, we see the full picture, we know what it is. It's like when we go learn, uh, uh, study uh, uh, Western boxing, we can read about it, all this description what it is. We need to have this clear, it's not, oh, I guess so, I think so. And then you watch out for the past uh, 100 years, uh, all everybody talk about Tai Chi, Tai Chi, Tai Chi. Well, in traditional Chinese martial history and the real Chinese history, where do you find those Tai Chi, Tai Chi, Tai Chi grandmaster uh, fighting in a real war like General Qi Ji Guang? Where? You don't find it. So all this flying and all those kind of things, there's a different stuff. That's why I say this book is for those who want to uh, uh, really know what is going on with traditional Chinese martial arts. It's not about for those who, who like to follow their culture, their, what do you call it, their lineage culture, their magic and all those kind of stuff. Okay? Up to now, you can see there's no grandmaster names race. All is technic te technical, technical, technical. Because a technical book has to present technical. It's not anybody's biography or anybody's uh, uh, quotations. Okay? Now, the third wing, uh, chapter is the Wing Chun 1850. So what is it? Well, the first thing is to present to you the ingredient of creating Wing Chun. The bottom line is the Shaolin Sword Strike. That's why it's calling Tip San Tui Da, Sticking Body Sword Strike, because that is how it is when it is for combat. And then on top of that, because you need to have a sticking body, stick with your opponent's body. So they use the uh, Ermei Shi uh, uh, body conditioning technology to refine the body so you'll be able to have more mobility and handlings, details handling. That's why I call the set Siulin Tao. The essence of details. Training. Need to get the details, okay? And so Shaolin is for your martial art fighting. Ermei Se Zhuang is for refining the, uh, the, the body conditioning. So the body conditioning is uh, divert from the Shaolin short strike uh, conditioning, but uh, it, it is a newer technology or improved technology, you can say that. And then on top of that, it uh, have the Fujian Shaolin techniques, which is at the time of the create of the Shulim Tao, which is uh, significant. So you have this Shaolin Sword Strike, the, 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 the platform. You have this uh, Ermei, the platform. They have their techniques. And then you have this uh, Fujian White Crane on top of it. So that is the ingredient or that is the component of the Wing Chun 1850. We know today by evidence, which is I'm going to share with you on this chapter. Okay. Now, the first thing is 
in the start of the chapter. Start, we will get the uh, riding of 1850 and the riding of the Shaolin Sword Strike. We see how each other echo each other. For instance, we talk about the feast. Okay, in Shaolin quit, uh, sorry, in the Wing Chun quit 1850, the riding saying that feast issue from hand, uh, hand issue from heart. And you can see that in the Shaolin Sword Strike, it detailsly present what does feast issue from heart means technically and in combat. What is it? And how is this feast issue from heart? It is a part of the Shaolin Sword Strike uniqueness. For example, is if you have an iOS platform, you have an application. The application has to converge with the iOS platform. You cannot get a, a what a, a apps, okay which is the Google Android apps and try to run it in the, uh, in the iOS. There's no way you can do those kind of stuff, okay? So that is a connection, a very tight connections of Shaolin Sword Strike and the Wing Chun 1850. If I don't have the Shaolin Sword Strike canon, I will not be able to fully decode the 1850s Shilin Tao writing or classic. No Hermes Erjuan be able to decode that. No uh, this uh, uh, White Crane Fujian be able to decode that. No Tai Chi, no other art because it is a uniqueness. So as what I said, face issue from heart, what is it? What it is? You can find such through all the information in traditional Chinese martial arts. You will only get it in the Shaolin Short Strike book. So that's how particular it. Okay. Now, then in the third chapter, we talk about the core of Wing Chun 1850s. And then it get into, and of course, the core, you have to have all the Shaolin Sword Strike and the Wing Chun 1850 always you have <coughs> you have that uh, in uh, in uh, together so you can see okay what it is because right now we can use Shaolin Sword Strike classic to explain what is not explained in the 1850s uh, Shaolin Tao writing the Chinese always like that when they write something they always refer to the 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 the, the previous writing. It's like today's okay in the uh, say say iOS. When you want to know something about the version uh, twelve, you have to know what is happened with the iOS and iOS uh, version eleven and do those kind of stuff. Otherwise, you have no way to see. Okay, I cannot just take a version twelve and just go uh, interpret or uh, in my opinion uh, if this if that maybe this maybe that. I have to go to version 11, go uh, version 10 to see when is this thing happen and why is it happen so that I know, you know, in version 12, okay, how is this come? And then the next thing in the chapter 3 will be Wing Chun techniques, Wing Chun 1850s techniques. So you have the techniques from Shaolin Sword Strike. And now we know how is the proper use of the techniques from your BUG to your leg trips. Because again, this sticking body short strike art has to converge with the Shaolin short strike, the momentum, the platform, the operating system. Otherwise, it, it, it is not functioning. It's just for example, like usually we do lap sao. What well, Lap Sao is, is using for shoot in, for, for, for fill in. Lap Sao is not, I'm trying to pull him. Okay, this is one of the example. So there are many things there. So for past uh, 100 years or 120, 30 years by, by, by record, we can see on the Wing Chun 
evolution we know that many of this information are lost so that's why that techniques is sometimes using in a different way it's no longer fit into the the, uh, the, the platform okay now so you have the techniques you can see majority of the Wing Chun techniques is actually uh, from the Shaolin Sword Strike and then you can see the like the Bong Sao from the, Shaolin, uh, the, the General Chi Chi Guang's classic well it exists there already okay 1560 we can see that and then the like the short finger like the Wu Sao or under sleeve a uh, Jing we can see that that is from the uh, uh, Hermes Erdogan again that's by riding there and then you can see that the uh, the Zhao Yang of the Xiu Lian Kao 1850 is actually from what Kering Fujian okay like we can see all this in karate and, and white Kering Fujian so forth that, that, that is there this record so it's always the Wing Chun classic 1850 you can see that it is Shaolin short strike be able to clarify it or uh, this is you can link it to the uh, Hermes Erdogan which is clarified or the Zhao Yang you know it is the uniqueness of the white cream Fujian okay so you get that and then you will present that uh, the the uh, additional 1850s uh, Wing Chun techniques why? Because you need the additional Wing Chun techniques to fulfill the three strategy fighting, the three fighting strategy of General Chi Chi Kuang. Right? It is based on top down. So in 1850s, uh, Wing Chun, we do find that. We do find that 1850s have all these techniques, and this is why it actually echo to the General Chi Chi Guang's Four Momentum Zone 3 uh, fighting strategy. And we know that Shaolin Sword Strike is actually very proficient in one of the strategy. That's their uniqueness. Okay. Okay. So you have that. And then the chapter 4 is the training and start from the, 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 the chapter of the training we want to get into how is this thing uh, 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 developed so I pull out the uh, <coughs> sport science of today the functional training the strength training of today's uh, sport science okay the power the strength the power the movement and then the muscular uh, neuromuscular we need to know that and once we know the sport science we look into the training of the Shaolin Sword Strike and Wing Chun 1850. We know what it is. Now we know scientifically what are they. We can develop that. Okay. And then so in this chapter, you have the 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 uh, the the, uh, the 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 Shaolin Sword Strike and the 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 Wing Chun 1850. Now you map into the today's sports science. And. Here it presents, I present you also the tools. Today's modern truths are develop that thing. So we use the same tools as the, our MMA friends, the sport athletes, to be able to implement what is the training of the Shaolin Sword Strike and Wing Chun 1850. Now we get into today's world. Okay? And then also we have this multiple strength, uh, multiple, multi-directional strength training using uh, today's language to dis describe what is in the Queen Kit of the 1850s and the Salvium Sword Strike. Okay. And then of course the progressive training is very important. Otherwise one might damage one's body. The progressive training is actually inherited from Salvium, uh, the Wing Chun 1850. Okay, so it's there. And then the fifth is momentum. Well, you need to have the functional training to develop that momentum. 
and then it show you how is it of, of course it's based on Shaolin Salt Strike classics evidence okay and then how to pivot you know what when do you use the 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 the, the uh, ball of the foot or the, uh, the the heel of the foot to pivot in the real life high speed momentum okay not just uh, playing sets okay uh, those are addressed and then also footwear what type of footwear we need to use because in order to fit into the uniqueness of Shaolin Sword Strike or Shaolin, uh, the uh, Shaolin Sword Strike base Wing Chun 1850 you need to have a proper footwork uh, uh, footwear because it's like the guy who do a running and the guy who do dancing they have to use different footwear okay you cannot use uh, uh, this uh, this running footwear go dancing okay where you get all kind of instability and so forth so forth okay and then uh, the extensions of this uh, functional training so that one be able to move into different direction different angle you need to train the body It's a functional training Without that functional training, one will not be able to carry out the momentum execution. So in this chapter 5, we say that chapter 6 is the recycling. While one go high speed, you know, because if you want power, you need speeds, your strength with the execute in the really high speed, all this thing, you need to have a recycling of momentum. You want to flow continuously flow with your attack you have to use that too when we say oh Wing Chun never pull back it always flow well if you don't know how to handle your uh, momentum recycle your momentum you cannot do that like today is when people playing sets some Wing Chun set where you're dragging your back leg that is called dissipative that's called dragging that's a problematic thing it is not recycle momentum okay and then again, this is based on the Shaolin Sword Strike Mother, the platform. Now, so uh, from this chapter, one will be able to see that any non recycle momentum will be an opening or advantage the opponent is going to take. Because they know you're going to stop that. They know you're going to overshoot. They know you're being lack. Okay? So this is the sixth. The seventh is about conduct. What is the proper conduct of the uh, teaching of General Chi Chi Kuang and the Shaolin Substrike? It's not obvious enough today's, I'm better than you, I can bully you. Talk with your hand, not talk with your mouth. It's not that. It's not try to defeat people, uh, 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 bully people, or to prove who is a better fighter. It's not that. If you know all this technology, you present you, you proficient in all this technology, you're confident with yourself. You know whether you can take this job or you cannot take this job. Okay? So that that, that you don't need those uh, insecurity or bullying people or, or talk with mouth, uh, uh, talk with uh, 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 hand, not talk with mouth, and all those like a tough type of behavior. Okay? And what? Shaolin Sword Strike is from Shaolin. It's the Buddhist art. It, 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 uh, it about kindness to people. Not all this uh, uh, acting like a, a tar and bullying and uh, I can beat you, those kind of stuff. So there's about proper conduct. We need to know that, okay? Otherwise, what is the point to get all this thing, uh, all this technology to screw the, uh, the, 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 the community, the, the society and the uh, country? You just create problem because everything have a consequence so there is a conduct and then the, the eighth chapter is the restriction well restrictions is not good enough you need you need talented people at every generation to continue on you're not sitting down there and bad mouthing other lineage or bad mouthing uh, your teacher student or your teacher student is uh, no good uh, he doesn't learn much from the teacher all this garbage nonsense restricting is like in Silicon Valley you look at the past 20 years or 30 years you see how things uh, 
evolve, getting better, moving forward. Not sitting down there, it's just creating all kinds of problems, which is wasting energy. Okay, so restricting is for that. This is very important. We need a lot of talents in every generation. And all these talented people at the next generations, they are just a stepping stone. There's no superstar, okay? Like in the Silicon Valley, I am just a stepping stone on whoever I train. And there are many, I, many people I train now already, the VPs and so forth. And when, when I'm here retiring, they are already there. And I'm their stepping, stepping stone. And of course, they are somebody's stepping stone too because they train somebody then, and the technology keeping progress. So restricting needs that attitude of we just the stepping stone of the next generations. We found out, we saw problem and it is a marathon. We pass it to the next generations. That's how it is. It's technology. So this is what I'd like to share with you, okay? So that's why this book is critical for those who want to learn what is the art of Wing Chun, what is Shaolin Sword Strike, what is the reality of General Chi Chi Guang, how is that mapped to today's training, how we be able to develop it, be able to be proficient with it, or how after studying this book, you look at uh, Xi Xiaodong. What is his strength po strong point? What is his weakness? What is our strong point? What is our weakness? What are we par with it? What are we, we, we lack? We need to know that. It's a technology. You study your competitor's product and you see technically what is what. Only that you have a hope for the future. Closing the, the eyes like a this uh, happened this past three years about oh I'm from Wing Chun I'm from uh, Tai Chi and everybody not last than many uh, a few seconds with Xi Xiaotong and you keeping making the same mistake again and again and again and again how is that supposed to be technology how is it supposed to be uh, 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 progress okay being constructive Competitions is okay, but it has to be a con uh, constructive competitions. And for me, I am more into investigation, not into competition, because competition sometimes you get into those uh, the dark side of human, which is I don't like. Okay, I like to stay in uh, investigation. So this book is an investigations. So on the art of Wing Chun. And also Shaolin Sword Strike. For all of us in the West, we don't know what is happening with the Shaolin Sword Strike and the uh, the, uh, the the General Chi Chi Huang. From here, you have a snapshot. You see the big picture. You see the essential details. Then you know what it is. Not just keeping making the same mistake of, oh, you know, Wing Chun is from uh, uh, Liangzhan, and then uh, Liangzhan mixed the Western knuckle boxing with the uh, Qi Gong, and then you make Wing Chun. Come on, we need to know exactly to every details what it is. Otherwise, we have no idea what it is. So this is to share with you today. 